Hi, I'm J.D. Binger, and today's Advent passage comes from Genesis 12, verses 1 through 3. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. That passage of scripture is referring to a man named Abram, who eventually will have the name Abraham. And if you went to Sunday school growing up, you probably know the song and the dance of Father Abraham and his many sons. Well, Father Abraham was the recipient of the blessing, but the blessing wasn't supposed to stop with him, right? The passage says that through Abraham, all the peoples of the world will be blessed. And how will they be blessed, right? What is, what is Abraham's blessing exactly? Is it, is it money? Is it influence? Is it land? Is it success in battle? The blessing that will last is that he gets to be the father of the line that brings Jesus into this world. And who is Jesus? Jesus is the blessing for all the people of the world, right? Jesus is the one who will bring freedom and redemption and light and hope and goodness back to the world. He will save us. And Abraham gets to be the father of that. When we look at our own lives, we've been blessed tremendously. And our blessings, like Abraham, are not supposed to stop with us but we are supposed to turn around and bless those around us. And how? Just like with Abraham, we get to be conduits for the love and the goodness of Jesus into a world that desperately needs him. Mm -hmm.